What's up everybody, this is Johan here with Dogato Detailing. Today we'll be having a really interesting video. I'm going to be talking about how I do a two-stage paint correction. Um, and this is not just particularly for white paint, but of course today we're working on a white Toyota RAV4. As you guys can see guys, this paint is in really, really bad condition. Uh, why don't you guys go ahead and guess in the comments below, what year car do you think this is, taking in consideration the condition of the paint? I know it's really hard to see on camera guys, but this car is swirled up to the max. There's some really deep defects too, so go ahead and leave your guess in the comments right now. Alrighty, so I hope you guys are finishing up your comments right now, but if you guys guess that this is a brand new car, you are correct, guys. This is a 2024 Toyota RAV4. It was literally just purchased the beginning of this month, and it's already destroyed. You guys can see, here's my setup. I went ahead and taped off the trim. I've got all my stuff in this person's garage, but yeah, guys, this car is hammered i don't know if this happened at the dealership or in transport or i don't know but it is really really bad like you guys can see how bad the paint is it's just super duper swirled up so we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it all right so before we do any polisher work i'm gonna go ahead and measure the paint i now i'm using my paint thickness gauge i got this one on amazon actually for pretty cheap and it's uh pretty good honestly for the price but uh, we have more than enough paint to work with. I'm measuring it in mils. We're at 4.3 on average. And normally you don't want to go any under than 3 mils. So I'm going to be doing a couple of different test spots. But right now I'm using some Griot's Fast Correcting Cream. And I'm using a blue HDO Lake Country uh, heavy polishing pad. So I'm going to be doing a couple passes with this. And then we'll see what the results look like with just this. So this is actually my first time using Griot's Fast Correcting Cream. Uh, I'm thankful for this fellow detailer in my local area who, who all he does is uh, paint corrections. He actually recommended this to me as I was talking to him a couple days ago on a different paint correction job. He said this compound is really good. First impressions guys, it's super easy to wipe off. There's no dusting and right now I'm just using a little rinseless dampened towel to help out with the wiping but honestly it probably wasn't needed. I'm just used to it from a different polish I've been using but guys this wipes up super easy, absolutely no dusting, long working time. It's a pretty dang solid compound. Alrighty guys, so now that we're done with the white bob, let's go ahead and inspect the paint. Now we're getting some pretty insane results guys with just this step alone. Now if you're wondering what light I'm using, this is the Braun Color Match Light from Harbor Freight. It's super worth it, it's only like 40 bucks, you gotta go get one. So let's go ahead and look at the paint and guys this is some insane results for just using that one pad and the griots fast correcting cream highly highly recommend it guys you will notice later though that this combo isn't going to be enough on especially like the door panels they got hammered in the wash stage from whoever washed it before but yeah guys this is some good stuff Alrighty, so moving on, I want to show you guys something that is a game changer in my business, and that is this Lake Country Pad Washer 4000. Now, if you didn't know, each polishing pad has its own level of cut and finish, and if you guys are using a dirty pad that's clogged up with polish, you're not going to be getting the optimal cut or the optimal finish out of your pad, and you're going to be creating more work for yourself. So guys, if you guys are doing even more than just one paint correction a year, this thing will pay for itself alone. Now I'm going to spin out on speed 6 and get all the liquid out and guys you can see in literally a matter of like 10 seconds we have a perfectly clean pad again. So now we're moving on to some mini polisher work and this is the Max Shine Mini Polisher V2. Now I technically could use my 5 inch pad and my DA on this but you know for this little little stuff right here I much prefer being able to use a small DA so yeah. So about this polisher, this thing is freaking awesome in my opinion. You can use it as a rotary polisher using a 2 inch or a 1 inch backing plate and pad. Uh, this thing comes with all the pads and backing plates and stuff. But you can also make it into a DA. Right now I'm using the 12 millimeter offset option for the DA using a 2 millimeter backing plate. You can also use a 3 millimeter offset uh, option but that thing that option is practically useless you're gonna get so much stalling so I honestly just recommend if you're using the DA option only use the 12 millimeter 
uh, or you can also use the rotary the rotary version is uh insane you get no stalling at all but uh we're using the MacPower pad and some griot's fast correcting cream and uh, it's doing really good on these pillars so yeah Alrighty, so moving on to the doors, I went ahead and did one of them off camera and you guys can see the difference between the uncorrected door and the corrected door. Now these door panels were super scratched and had a lot of deep marring so I had to do a two step. So here you can see the Griot's Fast Correcting Cream and I'm using it currently on a yellow Rupes wool pad. So uh, I had some decent results with this. I also played around on some other panels using the Eurofiber 5050 for the cutting stage that did almost equally as well but here I'm spreading out the product and then I'm going to go ahead and start cutting so now that we're done dotting the polish all around I'm putting the machine on speed one and spreading out the product really evenly that way we don't get a whole lot of sling when we turn up the speed this just keeps your work environment cleaner and also just prevents less mess and less cleanup later but after this, we're going to kick up the polisher up to speed about 3.5, right between the speed number 3 and number 4. And we're going to go to town on this panel. And for those of you who maybe don't have a lot of experience polishing, um, doing this little crosshatch pattern, you know, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, is a really good way to ensure you've covered the area uh, evenly and effectively. So, yeah. All right, so now that we're done with the cutting stage, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the second stage of this two-stage correction, which is the refining stage. Now this, I'm gonna be using a black finishing pad from Lake Country, and I'm using Car Pro Essence. For those who know about Car Pro Essence, this does not have a whole lot of abrasives, but it does have a whole lot of gloss boost and it actually will leave down some protection. It's gonna leave about, you know, six to 12 months of protection on the paint. So we're gonna go ahead and spread this stuff around. Uh, this stuff is really easy to work with. So we're gonna go ahead and spread it around on like speed one-ish or so. You can even do speed two if you want. But after we spread it, we're going to go ahead and move the polish up to about speed two and a half. We're not looking for any correction here. We're literally just trying to spread around the polish, refine any maybe some DA haze that we got with that wool pad. So yeah. And one of my favorite things about Car Pro Essence is how freakishly easy it wipes off. And it leaves the panel feeling insanely slick. This product is freaking awesome. I think I'd be using it in my arsenal now all the time. I really, really love Car Pro Essence. Uh, I, you guys saw, I literally just used it right on top of the Griot's Fast Correcting Cream. I didn't even wipe it off. And it still wipes off insanely easy. So, guys, this panel is looking insane. Although this is flat white, it's still looking really glossy, as you guys can see in the camera so yeah i love this stuff and of course like always we're going ahead and inspect it i went ahead and turned off some of my lights that i had that way i can get a better look at the panel and we are getting some pretty dang solid results guys i will say that we're getting some good some good dang results so yeah let's go ahead and look at them all right, so let's look at what we've been doing. Now, this is what the panel looked like beforehand. You can see there's a lot of really deep scratches. Um, and this is the after. We've basically removed around 99% of everything, except for there's a couple random isolated deep scratches. But besides that, guys, this is some insane results. All right, let's go back to do some more fine refining work with this mini polisher. You guys can see this front bumper on this RAV4 is very intricate. Yeah, you could probably get away using it like a five inch DA, but it's just not optimal. It'd be really difficult to get up in all these areas and you risk maybe scratching some other parts of the car because of how big these five inch, you know, 15 millimeter DAs are. So guys, if you are considering implementing paint correction in your business or you already are doing so when you wanna just take your results up to the next level consider investing into a mini polisher you know rubis has one uh flex has some even spta has a really decent uh mini polisher i just like max shine polisher so i went ahead and stayed in their system and got their mini polisher but yeah this is a hundred percent worth the money it's expensive it's about like 240 dollars but I, I think it's well worth it and if you're gonna be doing more than a couple cars a year I'd say it's well worth your money to invest and get yourself one of these little mini polishers That way you can just take your work to the next level. So let's go ahead and enjoy some of this work right here
And you guessed it, we'll be throwing some Car Pro Essence to finish up this two stage on this bumper. Now we're using some of the pads that came with this polisher. This is the Max Shine Red Pad, which is their finishing pad. I will say these pads, I'm not very impressed with them. They do feel very cheap and they do tend to start to break down. Uh, quite early so if you are going to invest in one of these polishers i would also consider investing in some better pads i went ahead and ordered you know the two inch and one inch pads from lake country their sdo line i feel like those are going to just last a lot longer and they're going to be there's the same foam as my hdo pads so it's going to be the same system for my mini polisher and for my main polishers so yeah so of course, since we did use Carpro Essence, the wipe off is going to be like butter. And I had a quick little idea. I do feel like Carpro Essence is going to be really good for like headlight restoration maintenance since it barely has any abrasives at all. And it has a SiO2 sealant in it. So I feel like it'll be really good for, you know, maintaining like some restorations maybe after a year or so. But uh, yeah, guys, I actually didn't really film much after this. I kind of just got lost in the sauce of polishing. Um, but we did really good. We probably got around 95 to 99 percent correction on this whole car uh the client was super duper happy and grateful because this is a brand new car has less than 200 miles and it looked like that so let's go ahead and look at some before and afters that i took now you guys can see the paint looks just so so much better uh, i had a really fun time working on this car and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video hope you guys got something out of it if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave them down in the comments below i'll go ahead and link all the stuff that i use as well and i'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video